It's your boy Zarius. And your favorite, Marissa. And we're back with a little banger. Well, they're not a banger. Kind of a banger. It's a banger. Kind of. I All guess right. you could say. Um, this is our current situation. We're just sitting in the car, just chilling. And so we decided we were just going to do a quick video for y'all. So today's video is relationship Surprise. advice. So we're just going to point out some things and it, you can do whatever you want with it. Um, so we're just going to basically just sit here and talk. And when we point out something, we'll probably talk about it a little more in the depth. So yeah, let's jump into the video. Okay, so number one. Um don't lie in a relationship because lying in a relationship isn't gonna really get you too far um it's not healthy for one and two it ain't gonna get you anywhere but that's one he's gonna do fat too another thing is be loyal to your significant other yes loyal will get you a very it'll very get, long it'll way get you far that and then uh no, when y'all and your girlfriend started dating, that get you far. Trust yeah. me. Cause, uh, okay. So fact number three is kind of ties along, like remembering things, like remembering important things, like important you know, dates. Yeah, like y'all first, like you y'all first date, like we y'all first met each other, your first kiss, and stuff like that. Yeah. So that's like that stuff. And it's important to know, cause like you're in a relationship, you're like, it's just important to know. All right, fact. Oh. Go ahead. Like going out your way to do stuff for your significant other. Like it always will show. Like it will show. Like when if you like if he was to go out for me, go out of his way for me, it would show, and it like it just keeps your relationship healthy. Mm -hmm. Um. Hmm. You want to explain more into depth, like what, what that mean? Like, basically, like, if he was to go out of his way, and I was, let's say I was sick, and he went out of his way, and brought me food, and a drink, and some medicine, that would make me happy, and that would make me, like, remember that forever in the long run. And it's just something you, you do. You cherish. You cherish the moments, and it makes you a lot happier in the relationship. That's another thing. Um, like on Valentine's Day, like, get your girl some hearts, get her some flowers, take care of her. Take her out. And birthdays. And birthdays for her. Yeah. I know that can be expensive. Trust me, <laughs> He's expensive too, y'all. Don't let him fool you. Um, another thing. Um, always communicate. No matter what, always Communi communicate. Is Whether key. it's bad, absolutely terrible, great, terrific, always communicate. Communication is, is top key. key. Yeah. Mm. Always top key. Like, because if you don't communicate, you misunderstand things, you get in arguments, it can cause issues, it can cause, um, like, problems in the future. It, communication is, like, something, like, you've got to work on, like, if that's not something you're strong in. I wasn't really strong in communication, like, it got me, like, I had to slowly learn, like, you've got to communicate more. If you don't communicate, things can go downhill fast. There's another thing is insecurities. Okay. Talk insecurities about is big on that. What do you mean? Like insecurities say like your ex boyfriend cheated on you or something like that and you take it out on the other other. Say like your uh, ex boyfriend cheated on you and you got a new boyfriend, you're thinking your new boyfriend is doing the same thing that he was doing. So you're gonna cheat him you're gonna cheat him bad. When he's actually been a good boyfriend. So basically don't pull insecurities from a past relationship into a new one. Yeah. I'm saying so. Because that, like, we both had to break those. Mm. Right? Yeah. Um, another thing. Yeah. What do you mean? No, I had, like, a wife for a second. Yeah. Because we both had stuff. Yeah. Because I think one of yours was not trusting or something like that. Yeah. And we yeah. had to get over that at the beginning, but it only, it didn't take him much long. But, um, I don't know what I had to get over. Oh yeah, oh. Your, your biggest insecurity is like when you like talking to people or stuff like that. Like you get shy, you like you don't Well, that's talk. not an insecurity. It's like, not really an insecurity. Insecurity it's like, a, it's like, like it's like an antisocial thing. Yeah, that's so basically what that is. Like an insecurity, maybe that I had like in my past relationship. It was thinking maybe like at the beginning of the relationship, maybe thinking like 
he would like run off or like do something to like mess with like break my heart because that's what my past relationship that's what he did so that's what i had that was an insecurity i had to get over and his was trusting past that another thing is is being playful like always be adventurous always be playful like don't keep the relationship boring like like don't, don't keep it toxic like have fun bro go out bro go get ice cream go to the mall celebrate come on yeah don't just stay in the house or just be on the phone 24 7 because like us we're on facetime 24 7 that's that's a guarantee that we're always on facetime but that's not just because we're boring but that's because we live 30 about 30, 30 minutes yeah. from each other so it's always we're always on facetime communicating yeah. with each other it's communication part and then al is we go somewhere at least i'd say at least twice a week yeah twice a week twice a week because the other times we're just at each other's houses but other than that we're always out like we're going to the mall we're going to go get food we go literally we go pretty to Walmart, much we go to steak. We go to everywhere. anywhere starbucks and starbucks that's a spot right there no, I ain't gonna we lie. go we go every other friday it's kind of like it's our, our it's tradition our tradition yeah we go every other Friday. And we and get see, paid too. And see, that's another thing. Every every other Friday, we're always out. When we when I'm, I get paid, and I he get goes. Paid. Uh, well, he also gets paid, but he gets paid a little later on me on Friday. Yeah, I get paid in the um, afternoons. He will go with me, and we'll go get Starbucks, and then we'll go to the mall, or we'll go get food. That's just something that we're doing that's adventurous. Like you're going out, you're not just leaving it boring. Yeah. Okay. Have anything else? Do else? Another thing is never bring up your ex yeah. around your girlfriend. Don't never do that. Are you well, right? Okay. I have a little bit of her you on that. Because in yeah, never bring it up all the time. That's just a red flag. But like if you're in the beginning of the relationship, you wanna talk about it so that you can get to know each other more so you can overcome the things that happened in your past relationship. So, like, there was me and him, the beginning of our relationship, we talked about what happened in our, well, that's kind of how we met. That's kind of how we met. But we, we did start time one day, if y'all want to check that out. Yeah, we did. Um, so, like, we talked, like, the first, like, few months, we talked about what happened in his relationship, past relationship and what happened in my past relationship and how we could fix what had happened or problems that was going to be carried. So, like, there was things that he could have carried on, but we fixed that. And there was things that I could have probably carried on, but we fixed that. And it's good talking about it in the beginning of a relationship because that helps to get it off your chest. But he's probably meaning, like, don't just no, I'm talking keep about like bringing a, like it a, up. Like, that, bringing it up and that comparison and shit like that. Like, see, if, like, how you walk or something like that. Like, you said, you walk just like my ex. You smell just like my ex. Like, yeah, that's just disrespectful. Yeah, that's like... That's disrespectful, disrespectful. Alright, we'll do two more. And another thing is boundaries. Boundaries. Like, boundaries, yeah. yeah. Keeping boundaries. Um, and make sure you're like y'all on like the same side. Same level. Yeah, yeah same level. Because if not, then that's where miscommunication mis <laughs> happens. Um, listening is another one. Yes listening because you always want that's mostly guys problem i ain't gonna lie but it's sometimes girls most times it's us mm -hmm. sorry excuse me listening because it's good to listen yeah if it's nonsense then i guess yeah no whatever don't listen but if it's something important listen like it's good to listen because it might be something you can learn from something that can help you or and et benefit you in the future yeah. Always bonding time, a bunch of time, bunch of time another thing. Like mm -hmm. spending time with each other, like going to the movies, mm -hmm. and going another, on date nights. The same way. I have another one. Okay, this is kind of, a, I guess, an advice or whatever, but friendships. Like, there's good friendships and there's bad friendships. Like, there's friendships that, like, yeah, me and him could have whatever and it'd be fine. But then there's friendships where they're just trying to get at you. They're trying to make your relationship bad or like tear y'all down or tear you apart and then there's just rude people that try to split you up it's just you have to be cautious of your friendships i agree on that very cautious of your friendships we learned that multiple times and 
us being in like out of school and being homeschooled has helped us a lot. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Like because we've got to bond more, like bond more, not just because school was in our way, but also because it helped us realize like when we were in school, people talk crap and people want to like say stuff. Oh, well, she did this or he did this, and it's like no, but you yes, also yeah. kind of like in the back of your mind, are like is that true? So it's better just to stick together instead of stick with friends unless like there's a couple that um a couple that like if we knew somebody that was like a good couple and like we could do double dates and stuff like that that's a different story yeah because you can learn them and they're a couple and it's not like we're getting in their way and they're getting in ours but yeah anyway in this video yeah. tell them what they gotta do leave a like and subscribe make sure you comment down, down below, below. comment yeah. down hashtag okay. Uh, MZ, MZ Squad, come on. That and then go follow on Instagram on social media will be down below. And our next video will be down, well, not our next video, but last video will be down below. So make sure you check that out too. So we'll see y'all later. Bye.